Welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to add Cash App to your store using WooCommerce and WordPress. I'll also be showing you how to edit options in the backend so you can set it up easily. In this tutorial we'll be using Momo Cash App, our own plugin that's available at wordpress.org and also available at theafghanboss.com slash cash up where you can get both uh, the premium and the free versions for you to use on your store. So once you have the plugin activated and uh, installed, you'll be able to go to cash up options using our cash up um, button and you'll be able to see all the different options for you to customize. I've customized a few of them already here for you. Um, some of them come with default values. Some of them you have to change yourself, like the cash app number, uh, the cash tag, and you can change everything that you need changed. Uh, depending on what version of cash app you're using, some of these options may not be able to be changed, but you'll still be able to see everything using your appropriate cash app version you can also go to woocommerce and it's still the same uh, woocommerce payment and then you go under you'll be able to see cash app once the plugin is installed then you can enable it from here or disable it from there so that's another way for you to get to the options for checkout page, it's installed and activated. This is what you'll be able to see. Now the Cash App plugin takes your total amount in the order in the cart and it takes it and adds it to, a, to the link so that uh, you'll be able to see all these options. And when the link is clicked, it goes straight to the actual cash tag. And if it's on the mobile phone, it's even better because there it will go straight to the cash app like you can see here so it will auto populate the cash tag and also auto populate the total amount due in the cart and all you have to do is just add the note for whatever the transaction is and then you just pay and that's it once that's done, you get to place the order and also you still receive another notice to remind you to pay in case someone decides to pay after they have placed the order. So they can still do the same and pay through Cash App after checkout. You also get an email and in that email is a link to remind you to pay. So once a customer buys, uh, you get to go to the orders. Once you receive the orders, the order will be put on hold while you uh, confirm that you've received the money in your Cash App account. And you get also a note that notifies again the, both you and the customer to let them know about the amount that was received or that's still due. And then once you process it, you'll be able to change it to completed or any applicable option.